I am on the Fraser River with our lovely friend Dan Hurd, and it is a very windy day today. I'm not sure how good the footage will be, but it doesn't really matter, does it? No, there's great gold here. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's get some gold and hopefully I'll find more gold than him. Are you making it a competition? Yes. So there you have it. Dan Hurd versus Pioneer Polly. Who will find more gold? That's easy. Me of course. Oh. So this is where we're working today. Apparently most of the gold is gonna be on the surface. So I won't be digging deep. So Dan and I decided to split up so we both had a chance to find something amazing. Pan numero uno. I'm just gonna get the surface stuff to do a test pan and see what we're looking at. We want 45 ounces per pan. I also don't have a secure way to hold my camera up because my stand I lost in Vietnam. The first pan of the day is always gonna be hit or a miss, but what's important is, whoa, that rock looks like an Egyptian pyramid. Sweet. Okay. So that's what we're looking at in our first pan. I'd clean it up better, but I'm in a race with Dan, so if we have a chance. Now I know I've only done one pan, but I'm pretty sure Dan's gonna beat me. I got sand in my eye, I don't know how, and I feel like that's gonna affect my performance today. Pan numero uno uno. Back in. A lot of the work done by any kind of gold panner starts when you move everything out of the way, which includes lots of big boulders. But if you get tired of moving rocks and want to play on your phone, I have just the thing. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. When I was a little fish, I used to go fishing with my dad. But now since I'm an adult fish, I don't have time anymore. So instead I play Fishing Clash on my phone. This game takes you anywhere around the world to fish for the most exotic creatures in the most beautiful of places. From the Florida coast to the Great Barrier Reef and my personal favorite, Loch Ness. Do you get it? Fishing Clash will keep you busy with over 50 distinct locations with each stop on your world tour providing new fish to catch. There's always new daily and weekly challenges offering all you anglers sweet rewards such as lures, special traits, and of course, some hot rods. This game you'll really like like. Thanks Fishing Clash for being today's video sponsor. Did you know that they are the official sponsor for Major League Fishing starting in 2024? Some of the real life events happening in the US will be replicated in game with the same locations where players can take part in virtual competitions and win in game rewards. So download Fishing Clash today using my link below or scan the QR code on the screen. To redeem your gift code, check settings and activate promo code Pioneer Poly to get your reward. I'll see you in the water. You're not gonna believe this. I found more fly poo. This spot sucks. I'm gonna go over to where Dan is. Dan, I am stealing your spot. Okay, you come join me. You bet. I really hope you guys can hear me with all this wind. I'm trying to block it with my, my huge muscular body. So this rope here, because it's facing northeast and the wind is going this way, plus this rock here is slowing down the sand right here, I think right there would be a good spot to look for some gold. Polly forgot his tripod, so I'm a glorified tripod today. I lost it in Nam. You gotta be really careful when you're panning sand. I'm basically just testing that one spot for no real reason. There's gonna be zero gold in here. But if there is gold, then that means there is gold around. Feel free to judge my panning technique. I'm not much of a panner. But man, you're a sniper. I'm a sniper. All right, you ready for oh, this? Here we go, here we go. Uh, let's get camera on this. Gold, come on gold. Go. Uh, I see a piece. Where? I see, uh, is that a little piece? Those are Fraser River Nuggets. Nice. We can do better. There we go, pan numero uno, uno, uno. We have a visible piece of fly poop now, so the fly poop is getting bigger. So let's stay on this spot and see if we can get more of those in higher numbers. Also, if you wanna see the gold that Dan Hurd is finding, I'll leave a link down below where you can see his version. So you gotta go check out his channel. So pan number four, or uno, 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 uno. I'm gonna really put some good intention in this. I'm gonna close my eyes and just imagine finding lots of candy. candy. So Dan's working right here. I decided to go this way and just do one pan, and that's what we're looking at. 
and it's way better about five feet out in the water. The gold is awesome out there, but the water came up this last week. Oh well. And if this river was actually clear, I would love to snipe it. I'd love to go to his Pickerton claim and snipe it, but it's just too murky. There needs to be a solution. Ow. Now we're talking. That's the colors that we want to see. I'm not going to lie, I stole some dirt from Dan's hole. <laughs> so even though these videos seem relatively quick, the days are actually long, which is very challenging for somebody with a short attention span. There's Dan looking majestic. It still feels a little too sandy, but we are finding consistent gold, so it could be, could be worth it. All right, so next pan. Pan number, I don't know, not looking bad. All right, so I just did a really good pan, and I thought I'd add another pan to it to really show you guys some gold, but then on my second pan, I had less gold. So that just goes to show that uh, I need to practice my gold panning skills further, more. But these are the pieces that did survive. Again, super consistent, so yeah, I, I like this spot completely. There's not a lot of places I like to gold pan, but this place, obviously, yeah, I'd come back, especially with this guy. Also, check out this view. Dan Hurd looks like an ant down there. But I think he's finding more gold than I am, so let's get back to work. So Dan is doing really well, but he's not showing me the gold he's finding, so I'm gonna say he's bluffing. So because there's metal right here, and there's metal right there, and there's a cloud right there, that means right here, there'll be gold. Now I keep following where Dan is working because it's easier, and I am not willing to do what it takes to find a new spot. Anyways, time to get serious. No more distress. That X on Dan Hurt's back is a target. Ah. Let's see if Polly falls in the water. It's the shadow of Dan Hurd. That guy follows you everywhere. <laughs> so I was panning last year and I was finding good gold and my friend was panning my tailings and he was finding better gold than I was. <laughs> so at that moment, my ego took over but then I had to realize it's okay. I suck at panning. All right. Zoom way out. Whoa. <gasps> Got some rocks. <laughs> More fly poop. Nothing really crazy, but uh, there's still gold here. There's gold. So Dan and I both had our lunch sitting out. It was a bad idea. It's gritty. <laughs> <laughs> it's covered in sand. Oh, I can't eat that. <laughs> and I had eggs and hash browns, and I don't even know where those are at. I'm gonna break a tooth. <laughs> there's so much sand in that. Mm, yummy. Yum. <laughs> uh, I'm not tall enough, Dan. I'm not strong enough. Ah, yeah, we did it. Now this is where there's gonna be gold. Without Dan's help, I just moved this two-ton boulder. I'm just gonna take the surface off of this and see how much gold is in there. So I'm willing to bet this pan will be actually pretty good because all this material looks good to me. Just as I predicted, way better gold. There's actually a piece of gold that has mercury on it in here as well. I spent 19 more hours filling up this one gold pan and meditating more so that my next pan would be awesome. And it worked because I'm a genius. So this is the be I'm bleeding! This is the best pan I've had all day. So it's a good sign that what? You're on the gold! But there could be gold around. Look at that. Zoom sound. Man, that actually looks really, really nice. There's little pieces of gold all up top. Obviously, a bunch right there. And I'm pretty sure I have some gold down there. And obviously, I lost most of the gold while trying to pan. So all of that gold came from this spot in one pan. So I imagine if I move most of these big rocks out of the way and continue, we would find more gold. Dan's right there. His pool is almost full, of, well, his area is full of water, but mine's not full yet. Hopefully I can get most of the material before the water gets in here, but if the water does, not a big deal. Voiceover sounds with some neat information different angles of camera view, and back to me talking. So here's the next pan. Not as good as the last one, but still pretty good. Dan and I don't know if the gold's coming from the surface or down deep. Normally the gold's coming all from the surface, but in this spot it could be coming deeper, so eh, I don't know. I continued on, continuing on, on my mission to find more gold than Dan, to prove to myself that I know what I'm doing. Hi there. 
as perplected, most of the gold seems to be up in the first foot. So near the surface is better. So it has easily been seven and a half years. Dan and I are almost done. I'm gonna do one more pen. 10 more! I'm gonna do one. Ten! <laughs> I might do two more pens and then I'm gonna call it quits. Hey Paul, what you got in the pan? I don't know. Moment of two, there's so much black sand in here. Welcome to the Fraser River. I see gold. Oh yeah. There. There it is. Last pan of the day. Not that bad. Not too shabby all the way around. You got the full smile. So that's all the gold from my last pan of the day. Now let's dump out the snuffer and see what we got. So even though this gold looks good in the pan, the gold is relatively flat. So with that being said, I don't think there's enough here for me to weigh. So I'm still gonna suck it up and then I'm gonna add it to the whole gold total for 2024 and weigh it at the end of the year. So what do you say, Dan? That was a good day. A little windy, but I had a blast out here. Yeah, we gotta hang out more often, seriously. We do, we do. Come back to the Ocean Picture Zone this year. That was fun last time. I also wanna snipe your dream claim. Yes. Uh, find big nuggets. You got a couple weeks before runoff. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what a priestly posted and what's coming in the future. Dan Hurd is a very lovely friend of mine, and I do need to make more videos hanging out with him. If you want to see more videos with Dan, leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video, and also thank you to my Patreons. Because of you Patreons, I can make more videos for you to enjoy. Also, huge shout out to this wonderful view here. I love BC. Until the next one, don't forget to download Fishing Clash and use my code.